सभाओं की अनुमति दी जाती है ये सभा मंत्रिपरिषद में विश्वास का अभाव प्रकट करती है Hello there you're watching left right and center on NDTV I'm Maha Siddiqui The opposition coalition India has brought a no confidence motion against the government in parliament over the violence that has left 125 people dead and shocking cases of sexual assault against women in Manipur. The Lok Sabha speaker has admitted the motion moved by the Congress party's Gaurav Gogoi, while the Bharat Rashtra Samiti has also submitted a separate no confidence motion. The date for the vote is yet to be announced. The filing of the no confidence motion needed the backing of 50 members in the house, a number easily achieved on the back of a resurgent new and larger coalition. However, the opposition is well aware that their total numbers will not match up to the brute majority of the BJP backed by its allies in the Lok Sabha. So why the no confidence motion route? A The opposition strategy is to make the prime minister speak on the issue on the floor of the house and B a perception battle in the run up to 2024 India the coalition versus the Modi government does this make the government uncomfortable going by the posturing no so the question we are pitching tonight who will win this perception battle मंत्री परिषद में विश्वास का अभाव प्रकट करती है इस प्रस्ताव की अनुमति दी जाती है विश्वास प्रस्ताव के द्वारा हम ये प्रकाशित करना चाहते हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी शायद मणिपुर को भूल चुके हैं लेकिन इंडिया अलायंस ये देश मणिपुर को नहीं भूला है जो इस प्रस्ताव की अनुमति दिए जाने के पक्ष गवर्नमेंट वर्सेस ऑपोजिशन बैटल लाइंस इंटेंसिफाई आफ्टर शोडाउन इन पार्लियामेंट ओवर द मणिपुर सिचुएशन द ऑपोजिशन हैज फायर्ड इट्स स्ट्रेटजिक वेपन द नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन नोइंग फुली वेल दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज अ ह्यूज मेजॉरिटी इट्स द ऑपोजिशंस मूव टू फोर्स द प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टू स्पीक ऑन द मणिपुर इशू इनसाइड पार्लियामेंट दैट दे हैव बीन डिमांडिंग थ्रू द सेशन अविश्वास प्रस्ताव लाने के मतलब ये नहीं कि किसी को जीत हराने या जिताना ये सरकार पे क्यों हमारा अविश्वास है ये आम लोगों को बताना जरूरी है क्योंकि शुरू के दिन से हम एक ही छोटी सी मांग की है और वो भी हमारे सदन के नेता खासकर हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री से कि आप सदन पे आए बाहर जो बात रखते हैं आप मणिपुर के मुद्दे पे सदन की बाहर क्यों रखने की जरूरत होती है सदन के अंदर आके वही बात रखे उसके बाद हम चर्चा शुरू करें इंडिया अलायंस आज मणिपुर के साथ खड़ा है उनके दर्द के समय इंडिया अलायंस आज मणिपुर की हक की बात कर रहा है और आने वाले समय में इंडिया अलायंस मणिपुर पर लगे हुए घाव पर मरहम लगाने का काम करेगी द गवर्नमेंट इज कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ नॉट ओनली डिफीटिंग द मोशन बट ऑल्सो गेटिंग मोर सपोर्ट तो नो कॉन्फिडेंस दिया है तो अब लोगों लोगों के कॉन्फिडेंस मान्य नरेंद्र मोदी जी के ऊपर भारतीय जनता पार्टी के ऊपर है ही है और जो होगा हम अभी चर्चा करके हम डिसाइड करेंगे लास्ट टर्म में भी किया था और लोग उनको जो कुछ भी सबक सिखाने था वो सिखा दिया है और आगे भी सिखा देंगे द नो कॉन्फ्रेंस मोशन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी टेकन अप अर्ली नेक्स्ट वीक बट नेवर इट्स गोइंग टू बी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर डिबेट एंड डिस्कशन बोथ फॉर दी ऑपोजिशन एज वेल एज द ट्रेजरी ब्रेंचेज अड of the state and general elections the government is comfortably placed in the house of 538 members currently it has 332 while the india alliance parties collectively have just 142 the rest 64 constitute non aligned parties such as the brs bjd ysrcp and the tdp in election year amid political posturing in the battle of perception the brs moved a separate no trust motion despite lacking the numbers to show that it was against the bjp but not with the congress 
which is its rival in Telangana that goes to the polls in a few months. As the no-confidence motion was filed in the Lok Sabha, this video of the Prime Minister from four years ago predicting one in 2023 went viral. While the no-confidence motion is more about perception as it doesn't pose any real threat to the government, but the acrimony in the House is not going to get over any time soon as the Delhi Ordinance Bill is expected to be introduced in the Rajya Sabha coming Monday. And hence, the scenes that we have been seeing repeat itself over and over again for the last one week is just expected to go on with no end in sight. In New Delhi, Mega Prasad for NDTV. But on a day, the opposition has indicated to the parliament that it lacks confidence in this government. The prime minister made a clear pitch for a third term. He had this to say at the opening of the Bharat Mandapam, the new convention centre. दूसरे तम में आज भारत दुनिया की पांचवी सबसे बड़ी इकोनॉमी है और ये ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड के आधार पर बातों बातों में नहीं ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड के आधार पर मैं कह रहा हूं मैं देश को ये भी विश्वास दिलाऊंगा तीसरे तम में दुनिया की पहली तीन इकोनॉमीज में एक नाम भारत का होगा यानी तीसरे टर्म में पहली तीन इकोनॉमी में गर्व के साथ हिंदुस्तान खड़ा होगा दोस्तों let me now go across to our guests who are joining us here on this discussion tonight. Uh, Dr. Syed Nasir Hussain, Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha from the Congress Party. R.P. Singh, National Spokesperson of the BJP. Arti Jairat, Senior Journalist. Sanjay Singh, Senior Journalist. Manisha Priyam, Political Analyst and Researcher. Desh Ratan Nigam, Advocate of the Supreme Court, supporting the BJP government. Let me go, go across first to R.P. Singh. R.P. Singh, we know that the government has the numbers, but this is a very sensitive issue on on which the opposition has the government cornered, at least on perception. Is there a worry that th this is not a matter that the government can easily brazen out of? Well, before I answer your question, uh, the sensitive issue is also of 1984. Today, after 39 years of struggle, we could get the charge sheet framed against the Titler. And if I, show you, uh, if I show you the video, the condition of the woman, the women were raped many times. The single woman was raped many times, and all of the family were killed. So, but no one spoke about this. No one even uh, addressed this issue, and it was all because of Mr. Rajiv Gandhi and his party. But coming to the issue of the Manipur, this is a very sensitive issue, and it need to be dealt that way. And then, and Amit Shah has on record saying that we are prepared to discuss said where in the parliament and he has written a letter to Kharge ji and uh, Ajay Ranjan ji also saying that let's come and discuss this issue and we'll discuss it as long as you want to discuss it and we'll give you a satisfactory answer for that. But they are not prepared to discuss uh, the issues in the parliament for them. Manipur is not an issue. The issue is that they have to show, they have to run down the Prime Minister Modi by by showing that, oh, we, we, we want to Prime Minister Modi to debate and in that part also, it was never said that Prime Minister Modi will not come, come on debate or will not answer the question. But it was, Amit Shah Ji was opening it and, and, and would have, need, if need be, uh, Prime Minister would have also come. But as it is, uh, the opposition want to bring in many more issues and we are hopeful that they will get the replies for each and every issue which they raise, including Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Rajasthan and also the 84 uh, riots which happened so, and for which so the justice Singh, started coming. Okay, R.P. Singh, let me go across to Nasir Hussain. But before that, since you raised the issue of 1984 as well, I mean, all one can say is two wrongs do not make a right, sir. And since India has already gone through these terrible phases, 
one should be even more sensitive and cognizant towards any such uh, uh, you know emerging situation or something that has already happened in this case violence that has already happened but nonetheless since you said this is a perception battle and that's the issue that we are discussing as well let me go across to nasir hussain then the government will nasir hussain obviously come through in this uh, no confidence motion was there any hesitation on part of the opposition that the government can turn the tables on the opposition on the issue of perception after sailing through the vote uh maha first let me respond to the bjp spokesperson uh, this government lives in the past bjp lives in the past any time you bring up any issue in the parliament or in a television debate they will go to 84 they will go to 92 uh, they will sorry, go to sir, 77 sorry sir i am sorry it's not living the past we are living it today sir please please my please, family live it today please, no 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 please, let me speak just don't 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 let me speak let me finish i, I didn't interrupt i didn't interrupt, me interrupt. let me speak sir you don't i didn't interrupt let me have I some patience Has some took patience. Took us 39 years to get some ethic, some 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 All right, just a second, uh, gentlemen. Just a second, gentlemen. Just a second. Gentlemen, Let there be some ethic in the debate on a television Nasir channel. Nasir Hussain, Nasir Hussain, just a second, sir. Just, second, sir. Second, just hear pass. me out. One second, R P Singh. You can't say that issues of the past cannot be raised, sir. Those are also wounds that need to be healed. Maha, let me. Maha, Maha, let me. You give, you give, you give time to Mr. R P Singh. Yes, I'm giving you time as well. You give time to Mr. R P Singh. Do not say that we should not raise issues of the past. Please allow me to complete. 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 problem with bjp is bjp bjp lives in the past see whenever there is an issue and an issue is raised in the parliament they speak of something in the past see for the past incidents there have been issues that have been taken up in the parliament people must have punished the then governments those issues must have been resolved must have not been resolved but the prop but the point is is there is there not bloodshed happening in manipur is there not ethnic cleansing happening in manipur is there not genocide type of a situation that is arisen in manipur is it is it not a fact that both the government in the state and the government at the center have failed for the past 85 days to restore law and order in manipur so if issues cannot be raised 10 years later it has to be raised now that is what we are doing in lok sabha and rajya sabha we wanted a discussion detailed discussion on this issue in both the houses under relevant rules every day 20 30 40 yesterday 51 members of parliament gave notices in rajya sabha to discuss this in rajya sabha we cannot go to home minister's house or some other minister's house to discuss this issue it has to be discussed in parliament and it has to be discussed under relevant rules if if that is not if that is being denied by the present government we will we, we will not have any other way but to use the other instrumentalities All in right. the parliamentary democracy to to bring the government to talk in the parliament and also to share our view point in the parliament and also to let the people of the country know what is happening in manipur all right so what you are saying is that because uh the discussion the government was not ag agreeing to on under relevant rules that is why you had to take uh, this route of no confidence manisha priyam the prime minister last time Absolutely. when the no confidence motion Absolutely. was brought in his 91 minute reply uh, to the debate had in fact invited the opposition to bring forth another no confidence motion in his second term today we are seeing some similarities because uh, at the bharat uh, uh, mandapam event the convention center that has been inaugurated today he is again spoken about what he intends doing in the government's third term apart from this do you see any other similarities or do you believe that this issue today that we have before us of the violence and sexual assaults in manipur is far more dangerous for the government to handle currently so let me first condemn the fact that there has been violence in manipur and i am deeply aggrieved and pained as all other citizens and mostly women uh, feel for the women of manipur uh, but the fact of the situation is that it's been an appropriate step by the government to admit the motion of no confidence this will allow the opposition to speak remember in their plural voices 
this will let the remember the country is going to tune in now the you know it's been a youtube's delight but the next uh, few days when the no confidence motion will be discussed this session will be taken seriously most political parties will present their points of view but ultimately given the majority of this government in the lok sabha and the prime minister's ability to speak on issues i have no doubt that it will be the prime minister's day the nation will this time watch as to watch what he will uh, present to the people especially the women of manipur as uh, i don't even want to use the word solace but as some way of hope uh, of being able to live forward uh, and i have no doubt that uh, the prime minister will make uh, some very effective and convincing uh, messaging will be done there at this point of time uh one can see that you know the uh, tarun uh, uh, gorav gogoi talking about india etc this should not have been the time that he should have spoken about this alliance or this or that this alliance has not been formed within the lok sabha this is something that they are forming outside of the lok sabha to fight the next election so i think it's not such a good uh, optics for them to do india inside the house they should focus on the issues and they should remember that in the prime minister they face a person who is very effective in his speech making capacities and his capacities to be able to use this as a messaging okay. tool right. to the people of india directly mm. okay. and that's something that the opposition having mounted the attack they need to understand their strategies mm. it cannot right now be about india or about the fact that they want to uh, you know promote their coalition alliance uh through the no confidence motion let right. them focus on the issue hmm. and raise the issues of people directly okay deeshat and nigam can it be damaging to the bjp if the opposition is able to create a perception that even on an issue so grave the prime minister has spoken only when they have pushed him to a uh, maha in fact uh, perception is a very subjective term and depends on which side of the divide you are and therefore the bubble of the perception which the opposition was trying to create against nda was clearly punctured by the prime minister when he openly spoke and people did hear to him and uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, kind of you know balm was applied to the sentiments of the manipuri people and also the rest of the country and the, uh, it is the home minister under whom the internal security comes and therefore it is his first right to speak on the subject in case it is required as mr rp singh said the prime minister could have come in but the fact remains the opposition could have seized the opportunity under rule 167 where two and a half hour discussion which is a very long period of time they could have seized that opportunity and discussed the matter but they did not want to because it is not it was not only about manipur but also about chatisgarh also about rajasthan also about other places so rape in one state cannot be a rape and in another state it cannot be a rape so one has to balance everything otherwise the sir, heinous crime sir, of rape sexual assaults and violence cannot be balanced in such a way i mean every case is grave in its own right yes absolutely absolutely there is no doubt about it but to brush certain rapes under the carpet and then only highlighting one instance is something you know which uh, you know makes the heinousness of the crime you know lessens it the pain that people start thinking so, in but, political but so, so but many would many would believe this to be political blame gaming and political aspect of something that is so grave and serious at the social level arti jairat i want to come to you i believe nasir husain wants to make a point but i'll just come to you sir let me take all our panelists on board first arti jairat what could possibly with the perception fallouts of this for the opposition uh maha we'll have to wait for the debate really to see how it pans out before we can pass a uh uh judgment on you know who's won the perception battle okay but um you know what there there are few things i find here uh one is that we are going on and on about the rape uh and uh, you know the sexual assault uh these are very grave crimes there is no doubt about it and i do not want to diminish the uh, horrific nature of rapes in rajasthan or chatisgarh or west bengal or what happened to the women in manipur but i think manipur is not just about the sexual assault uh, you know on the women i think manipur goes way beyond that 
because what we have seen in Manipur is ethnic violence, a kind of ethnic cleansing, really, for which has been going on now for almost three months. And a government which has been completely blind, completely deaf, and completely apathetic to what is going on under its watch. So I think that, you know, Manipur cannot be put in the same basket as Chhattisgarh, Bengal, and Rajasthan, however grave the rapes may be in those states. And I think that we need to see it as a you know completely different case because this is a complete breakdown of governance, a complete breakdown of the social contract between a state and people, which is to protect the lives and property of citizens. Hmm. That is what is happening in Manipur, which is, you know, so I think that we need to differentiate it. All right. And what one, one, one distinction one also, one one point, distinction one also that is drawn is on the response of the administration. I think that is a very critical point which many people have raised about uh, the response of the Manipur government, uh, the administration not being swift enough. Sanjay Singh, how do you see the government handling this on the floor of the house? How will they defend not sacking the chief minister after all that has been witnessed in Manipur? After all, that question is probably going to be raised, isn't it? Maha, no, there are two issues we got here, A, Manipur, and B, no confidence motion. What I saw today on television, Rajya Sabha TV live, that the chairman had given a ruling that, ruling that Manipur is to be discussed in Rule 176, I think, and yesterday in Lok Sabha also, Home Minister was appealing for a debate on Manipur. So that part, which particular rule, which particular rule Congress is asking, which particular rule the BJP is saying, the issue here is whether or not for public at large, whether or not this issue is debated, discussed in parliament. The second thing about no confidence motion, the septum battle that you are talking about. Yes, we know the outcome. And therefore, the question is who gains out of this and who loses in public perception? And also, more importantly, to energize their rank and file through, as to, through proceedings of parliament. And what happens there? Who speaks what? Who puts the other party on the back, and this will go on. I think the India grouping has done a huge favor to Prime Minister Modi and the BJP by bringing this no confidence motion. Nobody is naive, as some leaders may think, that no confidence motion is about Manipur and forcing Prime Minister to speak on Manipur. Of course, he'll speak on Manipur when the issue comes. But a lot many issues, a lot many things which opposition leaders may want PM to speak and PM also may want not many issues to speak on money. But when a no confidence motion is moved, almost everything under the sun is brought in by leaders concerned of, two, of all political parties. I think this debate will go on for two days. Hmm. In 2018, we have seen as to what had happened in 2018, Congress proposed move this motion on in the background of Chalky Bar and it was moment for Rajiv Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi's relaunch. We know what happened. First, when Rahul Gandhi had spoken and had gone to Modi's side for that uh, that famous Jappi and his winking of eyes. And subsequently, when Modi replied, you know, uh, out they were checked on them. So this time again, A, Rahul Gandhi is not there. The people of India and the parliament, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the other speakers in Lok Sabha, Sanjay Singh, as I asked Manisha Priyam earlier on, there is a huge distinction in the issue from 2018, the no confidence raised at that time to uh, the issue on the back of which the no confidence is being raised this time because the issue is much more grave, hard hitting because of the visuals that we have uh, seen which went viral. I think that is why this whole question about whether this could be slightly more dangerous perception-wise for the government. Nasir Hussain, I want to come to you. I'll come back to you, Sanjay Singh. I'll come back to you. Nasir Hussain, Manisha Priyam. When a no-confidence motion is moved, that is a online kind of motion. There is no Manipur. I don't think there is Manipur artisan. Jarad can correct me if I'm wrong. There is no Manipur. There will be no Manipur mention. Nothing of that sort. That will be online motion, and therefore anything and everything under the sun will come in for debate. All right, all right. So th that's that's a point that you've uh, uh, made, uh, which of course uh, will be important to note here because any and 
any issue can be raised during this no confidence motion but of course uh, the coalition the india coalition says that they want to raise specifically the issue of uh, manipur gorav gogoi who had uh, moved this uh, no confidence motion uh, spoke about that issue foremost nasir hussain would you want to respond to what manisha priyam pointed out that this was not the time to showcase india because then in the perception battle it appears that the coalition is trying to push itself through ahead of the elections rather than be serious about an issue so grave as manipur uh, <coughs> maha i think uh, uh, whether it is uh, india alliance or india parties earlier they were uh, earlier it was upa now a few more parties have joined that doesn't matter whether india alliance is a part of this uh, 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 no confidence motion that has been moved or not because upa was already ex uh, existing uh, till till some days back there are more parties that have joined see what is more important here is there is an issue there is an issue which is going on for the past 85 days the government in the state government at the center have failed to restore law and order arms is there everywhere in manipur there so many issues involved there complete ethnic cleansing internet shutdown was there because of which the, the videos and information has not come out there have been many groups civil society groups our own uh, congress party many groups had gone there they have they have heard people that as to what is happening there if you listen to the st stories if you look at the videos that have come out there you will feel what kind of uh, a sorry state of affairs is there in manipur so the issue is manipur we wanted the head of the government mr modi to come and speak on this issue in the parliament that's the reason why we were saying let the prime minister come and make a statement in both the houses to be followed by to be followed by discussion see you cannot have a two two and half year a two two and half hours or half an hour discussion on such a grave a grave issue you need to have a full days discussion we have a, what is the difficulty for the government to have a full day discussion on this what is the difficulty for the prime minister to come and give a statement on this issue he chooses to speak to the people of the country through the media when the session is on but he doesn't want to come in the parliament and make a statement on such a uh, grave situation that has arisen in manipur in the past prime ministers have come to the houses and they have made statement they have given they have made clarifications they have sat through the debates they have listened and they have replied to the debates why is this prime minister and the government running away from the debate on this on such a grave grave issue and what is more important is see any any incident of violence against women or otherwise also whether it is a congress rule state or any other uh, very any other party rule state that has to be taken seriously but for please for god's sake don't compare this situation of what is happening in manipur and what is happening in different parts of the country please criticize can i make Pretty a point please ma yes, what I'll is come happening to you. in congress rule state okay. but you cannot compare this situation that is the reason why we wanted a discussion and since the prime minister was not coming and the government was not ready for a full fledged discussion on this issue we went for Okay. No confidence motion All where right. the government will be forced to speak and the prime minister will be forced to All speak. All right. Let 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 R P Singh uh, come in. But R P Singh, along with what you want to raise, I also want to ask you: How is uh, the government going to defend itself on certain very tricky issues like why the C M is still in his chair? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. but my good friend from congress is not talking about the tribal women the way she was raped and thrown in jungle in the rajasthan in jhalwar area so similarly two women were stripped naked in the west uh, bengal and then what happened in uh, rajasthan was part of the uh, clash between the communities and what's happening in bengal we also know how the law and order has totally clashed but i am not comparing this with manipur manipur has to be addressed and manipur is not like bengal and and rajasthan except but yes is very sensitive and it has dealt sensitively and then where all opposition party need to come on board and that's why amit shah ji wrote a letter to both the leaders of both the houses saying that please let's just debate this and then since he is the home minister in charge for the law and order and he is the minister for the north east also so he was the best man to answer on the questions and and whatever debate has to happen and that and that didn't divide the prime minister to come and debate also i mean to come and answer the question but no prime minister should open the debate i mean this that question of manipur is basically oh, oh we have to pull down the prime minister we have to show the prime minister in the bad light that's that's the that's the objective 
and that's the problem because they want to politicize the issue then trying to soothe the issue or trying to help of the, help uh, the people of manipur and let me remind my uh, congress friend uh, 2011 more than 128 days there was a total uh, band or collapse in the system and there was shut down in the uh, in the in the manipur and situation was much worse than what is happening today and also uh, before that uh, after that in 2017 also there was another uh, band also there so we know there have been problem in manipur and then it has to be resolved in a, sir in the, a very the question is not about problem rp singh the question is about inaction as well can I, can I for two for months me. that the incident think, uh, that has shaken sir, the conscience uh, sir hear me out please can I, can the incident can I come in for that has second. shaken the confidence of uh, the uh, conscience of the I, nation just a second nasir hussain happened in may for its had it, had it not been highlighted through that unfortunate the video going viral when would action have been taken sir that is the that is the basic question and that is why i asked you when questions which are likely to come up in parliament on what the administration was doing what action has been taken or is being contemplated against the administration and the person overseeing the administration the chief minister how is your party going to respond on the floor of the house rp sir well well, well uh, home minister amisha will answer all these questions when raised by the opposition and then will answer this in in in, Maha, in conclusivity said, sir please can i can i never interrupt you sir in conclusivity Maha, saying that okay seconds, telling nasir hussain just to say i'll come to you let rp singh finish yes rp singh go ahead so yeah it, the complete situation have to be brought in totality and and, and has to be addressed in totality it's not one okay one instance has happened which is clear on the nation and then prime minister has already uh, spoken about this but yes the complete issue has to be discussed in toto how the problem started how the there are uh, issues between the two two communities and how it be to be addressed what government has done how what steps government has taken that's why there have been peace in last few uh, days last few weeks now there and how in government need to go further on it okay but manisha priyam we want to was take... was this the only way of getting the discussion can I, can I, can around can I, can this issue manisha, about, okay uh, nasir hussain make your points sir then i'll go to manisha priyam please. yes See, 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 one thing we should understand: it is not the Home Minister who will decide on which under which rule the discussion should take place. Home Minister has written letters to Adhiranjan Chaudhary, our floor leader, and he has written to Mr. Malik Arjun Karke, our LOP in Rajya Sabha. We have written back to the we have written back to uh, the, the Home Minister uh, in the same spirit. But what is important is Congress party and the opposition parties wants a discussion. They want a full fledged discussion. They are giving notices. Publicly, Amit Shah has accepted that. Both the speaker Have and the chairman in Rajya Sabha, Rajya Sabha, chairman in Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha speaker, for a, asking for a discussion. Fifty MPs have written asking for a discussion. How does it matter? Fifty or five hundred? If the speaker and the chairman who will decide, who will decide as to what rule the discussion should take place. So, if you really want, if you really want a discussion, please come for a full fledged discussion. But why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? Why is the prime minister not giving a statement on this issue? come up and said that look this is an issue that pertain to the home ministry they could have pointed look at the maximum action that can be asked for by this house on manipur is actually the imposition of article 356 right all matters pertaining to the home ministry so ideally it should have been at that level they should have been able to raise this but they wanted to raise it to the level of the prime minister they got that opportunity also hmm. now once they have raised it to this level the opposition as i'm time and again saying they will have to make sure that they raise these issues the point of filibustering that no 50 mp's were asking and time was not being allowed that for the normal viewer outside is not the message or communication the normal viewer is very perturbed about manipur the viewer now sees that opportunities for debate have been granted the viewer is now looking at what is it hmm. that the opposition has to present 
to the parliament remember hmm. people vote a ruling party and an opposition together all of them have been brought to power the parliament is power not just ministers are power hmm. so a responsible opposition their numbers may be less they have used their no confidence motion hmm. now the eyes of the countries are squarely on them to see how they are using this opportunity hmm. right now mr tarun gogoi has been able to raise this people are still asking who is their front spokesperson adhiran gogoi yes the, sorry Gaur, gaurav gogoi there there is uh, adhiranjan choudhury so is the congress going to come ahead on okay. the use of india now does this mean of the other coalition partners will get enough time what will be the dimensions will mamta be put on the mat now so these are things that people are worried about right now hmm. they are not looking for a scoring match so arti 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 jara should be amongst the most important sessions for right. the opposition remember okay. this is an opportunity for the opposition hmm. i am not taking the side of the government how does the opposition use its opportunity responsibly to interrogate hmm. and i have no doubt that should they use this responsibly hmm. they will be able to ask responsible questions very difficult human tragedies are before the nation right. can they use it to build the nation hmm. that's the question that we will want to see so arti jarat considering that one votes the government for good governance and how can you expect good governance if there is no life i mean we've lost our 125 people in manipur and there have been grave cases of sexual assault life itself has been harmed under these conditions now philosophically speaking and not strictly in parliamentary terms because there are so many uh, you know uh, there are there are so many points under which debates can be held but was it as the opposition says uh, no confidence the only uh, the only real format under which this discussion could have been held because the entire basis of governance has been shaken here Well, you know, Maha, there are lots of tools that uh, opposition parties can use in Parliament, hmm. and there are lots of tools that the government can use to stall, you know, demands by the opposition. And I think this is really not the time to quibble whether the opposition should have gone for a discussion under Rule One Hundred and Twenty Six, or should have gone for an adjournment motion, or should they have gone for a no confidence motion. I really don't think this is the time to quibble over that. You know, the tool that has been used. I think what is really important here is yes the opposition must ask the right questions of the government but I think more than what the opposition asks I think what the nation is waiting to see is the government's response I think that is what is worrying everybody that can we allow this state of affairs to continue in Manipur that has been going on for nearly 3 months hmm. and more and more horrifying tales are coming out of manipur hmm. Hmm. so i think what is really important and that is what people would like to hear right. and i hope that whether it is a home minister or it is a prime minister hmm. i hope or both of them i hope that they will send out a message of reassurance to people that under our watch your lives your properties your women are safe because But i think that is what the is social fabric the, the dignity the social dignity of life as well is safe absolutely let me go across to deshrata nigam we have the last 3 minutes left so i'll have to divide it equally between you and sanjay singh the last two speakers deshrata nigam can you help us understand and i know it's difficult to second guess what the pm or the home minister may say but can you give us three broad points possibly that the government is likely to put across on the floor of the house uh maha in fact i think government's sole motive today is to bring back a manipur in uh, normalcy and it is already on that path first which they are working uh, and the complex nature of the two communities who have been warring with each other needs to be uh, gone into the role of narcotics the role of the encroachment on the forest and the tribal status that was being given to maitis what triggered the other side so these are the important factors that need to be gone into and probably they will be gone into during the discussion hmm. and lastly it is the home minister's responsibility of the internal security so he has the first right to reply and the prime minister i'm sure will uh, come into the picture and uh, sum it up everything and finally we know the numbers are stacked against the opposition that's not an issue here hmm. the fact remains the genuine questions need to be asked forget about the politics and you will get genuine answers 
but right. to okay. think about perception only i think that's a very uh, not a good thing to only concentrate All right, on the, 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 this question has only been raised because it's in the run up to 2024 that this critical issue has come up before the government and the opposition in parliament sanjay singh uh, last one minute left uh, i want you to answer sir uh, what do you see the opposition the broad issues you said money it won't be limited to manipur only do you see other issues and which ones being raised i think the opposition has been caught in its own mind the problem is from tomorrow since now that no confidence motion has been accepted by the speaker and a date will be given we'll have to see tomorrow as to whether the congress and the rest of the in the groupings whether they disturb parliament tomorrow or let house function ideally they should let house function because now that there no confidence motion supposedly on as they say on manipur issue has been accepted right so tomorrow from tomorrow lok sabha should ideally ideally function the test is will be there tomorrow in rajya sabha also uh, they want adjournment motion because of as there would be voting adjournment motion is also called a censor motion and therefore so on so forth therefore they are applying this particular rule whereas for people at large what matters is whether or not you discuss a particular issue modi Uh, he has given uh, his mind as to uh, on um, on program earlier this evening at pragati madan he has talked about third term, right as you mentioned in opening of your program so therefore i think lines are drawn this is not only to set a agenda for 2024 of course nobody is denying that manipur is not a grave issue it is a very grave issue and it's good that people of this country and people in nation at large is debating an issue which which is happening in north northeastern mm-hmm. part of our country but this is also about setting an agenda for 2024 this is also about charging your rank and file giving talking point to them who succeeds in giving more talking points to their rank and file so that they can go to public at large and talk about their rivals as to what a particular party or right. the ruling party has achieved okay. or opposition has failed right. we will have to we'll have to leave it at that sir as a citizen one can only say that good governance should be the only agenda of uh, the government or the opposition to make a point about why good governance uh, needs to be adhered to and should be delivered by those who are elected to power many thanks to all our panelists for joining us here on this discussion taking a very quick break now we'll be back with more stay with us Thank you.